The Eight Consciousnesses is a classification developed in the tradition of the Yogacara school of Mahayana Buddhism. They enumerate the five sense consciousnesses, supplemented by the mental consciousness the defiled mental consciousness and finally the fundamental storehouse consciousness which is the basis of the other seven. This eighth consciousness is said to store the impressions of previous experiences, which form the seeds of future karma in this life and in the next after rebirth. The Eightfold Network of Primary Consciousnesses All surviving schools of Buddhist thought accept, in common, the existence of the first six primary consciousnesses Sanskrit, Vijnana, Tibetan, Wiley, Rnam Shis, the internally coherent Yogacara school associated with Maitreya, Asanga, and Vasubandhu, however, uniquely, or uncommonly, also posits the existence of two additional primary consciousnesses, Klistamanavijnana and Alayavijnana, in order to explain the workings of karma. The first six of these primary consciousnesses comprise the five sensory faculties together with mental consciousness, which is counted as the sixth. According to Gareth Sparham, the Alaya Vijnana doctrine arose on the Indian subcontinent about 1,000 years before Song Kha Pa. It gained its place in a distinctly Yogacara system over a period of some 300 years stretching from 100 to 400 CE, culminating in the Mahayana Samgraha, a short text by Asanga circa 350, setting out a systematic presentation of the Alaya Vijnana doctrine developed over the previous centuries. It is the doctrine found in this text in particular that Song Kha Pa, in his Ocean of Eloquence, treats as having been revealed in toto by the Buddha and transmitted to suffering humanity through the Yogacara founding saints Tib, Shing Rtasrol Bide, Maitreya Natha, Asanga, and Vasubandhu, while some noteworthy modern scholars of the Gelug tradition which was founded by Tsongkhapa's reforms to Atisha's Kadam school assert that the Alayavijnana is posited only in the Yogacara philosophical tenet system, all non gelug school of Tibetan Buddhism maintain that the Alayavijnana is accepted by the various Madhyamaka schools, as well. The Yogacara Eightfold Network of Primary Consciousnesses, Astavijñānāni in Sanskrit from compounding asta eight, with Vijñānāni, the plural of Vijñāna consciousnesses, or Tibetan, Wiley, Rnam Shis Tishogs Burgyad, is roughly sketched out in the following table. Topic. Origins and development Topic Early Buddhist texts EBTs The first five sense consciousnesses along with the sixth consciousness are identified in the Suttapitaka, especially the Salayatanavaga subsection of the Samyutanakaya, Monks, I will teach you the all. Listen and pay close attention. I will speak, as you say, Lord, the monks responded. The Blessed One said, What is the all? Simply the eye and forms, ear and sounds, nose and aromas, tongue and flavors, body and tactile sensations, intellect and ideas. This, monks, is called the all. One, anyone who would say, repudiating this all, I will describe another, if questioned on what exactly might be the grounds for his statement, would be unable to explain, and furthermore, would be put to grief. Why? Because it lies beyond range. Also, the early Buddhist texts speak of anasaya (Sanskrit: anasaya, the underlying tendencies or latent dispositions which keep beings caught in the circle of samsara. These potential tendencies are generally seen as unconscious processes which lie beneath our everyday consciousness, and according to Waldron, they represent the potential, the tendency for cognitive and emotional afflictions (Pali: kilesa, Sanskrit: klesa) to arise. Topic. Satrantika and Theravada theories The Satrantika school of Buddhism, which relied closely on the sutras, developed a theory of seeds bija, zhang zi in the mindstream chittasamtana, shin shang shu lit. Mind character continuity, to explain how karma and the latent dispositions continued throughout life and rebirth. This theory later developed into the Alayavijnana view. The Theravada theory of the Bhavanga may also be a forerunner of the Alayavijnana theory. Vasubandhu cites the Bhavangavijnana of the Sinhalese school as a forerunner of the Alayavijnana. The Theravadan theory is also mentioned by Xuanzang. Topic: 
Yogacara The texts of the Yogacara school gives a detailed explanation of the workings of the mind and the way it constructs the reality we experience. It is meant to be an explanation of experience, rather than a system of ontology. The theory of the Alayavijnana and the other consciousnesses developed out of a need to work out various issues in Buddhist Abhidharma thought. According to Lambert Schmidhausen, the first mention of the concept occurs in the Yogacarabhumasastra, which posits a basal consciousness that contains seeds for future cognitive processes. It is also described in the Samdhanirmokanasutra and in the Mahayana Samgraha of Asanga. Vasubandhu is considered to be the systematizer of Yogacara thought. Vasubandhu used the concept of the six consciousnesses, on which he elaborated in the Trimsikaikakarika treatise in 30 stanzas. Vijñānāni According to the traditional interpretation, Vasubandhu states that there are eight consciousnesses Vijñānāni, singular, Vijñāna Five sense consciousnesses Mind, perception Manas, self-consciousness Storehouse consciousness. According to Kalupahana, this classification of eight consciousnesses is based on a misunderstanding of Vasubandhu's Trimsikikakarika by later adherents. Alayavijnana The Alayavijnana Japanese, Alayashi or the all encompassing foundation consciousness, forms the base consciousness. Mulavijnana or causal consciousness. According to the traditional interpretation, the other seven consciousnesses are evolving or transforming consciousnesses originating in this base consciousness. The storehouse consciousness accumulates all potential energy as seeds for the mental and physical manifestation of one's existence. It is the storehouse consciousness which induces rebirth, causing the origination of a new existence. Topic. Role The Alayavijnana is also described in the Samdhanirmokanasutra as the mind which has all the seeds, Sarvabijakam Chittam, which enters the womb and develops based on two forms of appropriation or attachment upadana, to the material sense faculties, and to predispositions vasana towards conceptual proliferations. Prapansa. The Samdhanirmokanasutra also defines it in varying ways. This consciousness is also called the appropriating consciousness, Adana Vijnana, because the body is grasped and appropriated by it. It is also called the Alaya Vijnana, because it dwells in and attaches to this body in a common destiny. Arthina. It is also called mind, Sita, because it is heaped up and accumulated by the six cognitive objects, i.e., visual forms, sounds, smells, flavors, tangibles, and dharmas. In a seemingly innovative move, the Samdhanirmokanasutra states that the Alayavijnana is always active subliminally and occurs simultaneously with, supported by and depending upon, the six sense consciousnesses. According to Asanga's Mahayana Samgraha, the Alayavijnana is taught by other Buddhist schools by different names. He states that the Alaya is what the Mahasamgikas call the root consciousness, Mulavijnana, what the Mahisasakas call the aggregate which lasts as long as samsara, a samsara kaskanda, and what the Staviras call the Bhavanga. <inaudible> Rebirth and purification The storehouse consciousness receives impressions from all functions of the other consciousnesses, and retains them as potential energy, bija or seeds for their further manifestations and activities since it serves as the container for all experiential impressions it is also called the seed consciousness zhang zi shi or container consciousness according to yogacara teachings the seeds stored in the store consciousness of sentient beings are not pure the store consciousness while being originally immaculate in itself contains a mysterious mixture of purity and defilement good and evil because of this mixture the transformation of consciousness from defilement to purity can take place and awakening is possible. Through the process of purification the Dharma practitioner can become an arhat, when the four defilements of the mental functions of the manas consciousness are purified. 
Topic: <laughs> Tathagata Garbha thought. According to the Lankavatara Sutra and the schools of Chan and Zen Buddhism, the Alayavijnana is identical with the Tathagatagarbha, and is fundamentally pure. The equation of Alayavijnana and Tathagatagarbha was contested. It was seen as something akin to the Hindu notions of Atman permanent, invariant self and Prakirti primordial substrative nature from which all mental, emotional, and physical things evolve. According to Lusthaus, the critique led by the end of the 8th century to the rise of the logico-epistemic tradition of Yogacara and a hybrid school combining Tathagatagarbha thought with basic Yogacara doctrines. The logico-epistemological wing in part sidestepped the critique by using the term Satasantana mind stream, instead of Alaya Vijnana, for what amounted to roughly the same idea. It was easier to deny that a stream represented a reified self. On the other hand, the Tathagatagarbha hybrid school was no stranger to the charge of smuggling notions of selfhood into its doctrines, since, for example, it explicitly defined the Tathagatagarbha as permanent, pleasurable, self, and pure nitya, sukha, atman, sutta. Many Tathagatagarbha texts, in fact, argue for the acceptance of selfhood atman as a sign of higher accomplishment. The hybrid school attempted to conflate Tathagatagarbha with the Alaya Vijnana. Topic. Transformations of consciousness The traditional interpretation of the eight consciousnesses may be discarded on the ground of a reinterpretation of Vasubandhu's works. According to Kalupahana, instead of positing such unconsciousnesses, the Trimsikikakarika describes the transformations of this consciousness. Taking vipaka, manjana and vinapti as three different kinds of functions, rather than characteristics, and understanding vijnana itself as a function Vasubandhu seems to be avoiding any form of substantialist thinking in relation to consciousness. These transformations are threefold. Whatever, indeed, is the variety of ideas of self and elements that prevails, it occurs in the transformation of consciousness. Such transformation is threefold, namely, the first transformation results in the alaya, the resultant, what is called mentation, as well as the concept of the object. Herein, the consciousness called alaya, with all its seeds, is the resultant. The alayavijnana therefore is not an eighth consciousness, but the resultant of the transformation of consciousness. Instead of being a completely distinct category, alaya vijnana merely represents the normal flow of the stream of consciousness uninterrupted by the appearance of reflective self-awareness. It is no more than the unbroken stream of consciousness called the life process by the Buddha. It is the cognitive process, containing both emotive and co-native aspects of human experience, but without the enlarged egoistic emotions and dogmatic graspings characteristic of the next two transformations. The second transformation is manjana, self-consciousness or self-view, self-confusion, self-esteem and self-love. According to the Lankavatara and later interpreters it is the seventh consciousness. It is thinking about the various perceptions occurring in the stream of consciousness. The alaya is defiled by this self-interest. I t can be purified by adopting a non-substantialist perspective and thereby allowing the alaya part i.e. attachment to dissipate, leaving consciousness or the function of being intact. The third transformation is visayavijñapti, the concept of the object. In this transformation the concept of objects is created. By creating these concepts human beings become susceptible to grasping after the object. Vasubandhu is critical of the third transformation, not because it relates to the conception of an object, but because it generates grasping after a real object, sad artha, even when it is no more than a conception that combines experience and reflection. A similar perspective is given by Walpola Rahula. According to Walpola Rahula, all the elements of the Yogacara storehouse consciousness are already found in the Pali Canon. He writes that the three layers of the mind sita, manas, and vijnana as presented by Asanga are also mentioned in the Pali Canon. Thus we can see that vijnana represents the simple reaction or response of the sense organs when they come in contact with external objects. This is the uppermost or superficial aspect or layer of the vijnana skanda. Manas represents the aspect of its mental functioning, thinking, reasoning, conceiving ideas, etc. 
Sita, which is here called Alayavijnana, represents the deepest, finest, and subtlest aspect or layer of the aggregate of consciousness. It contains all the traces or impressions of the past actions and all good and bad future possibilities. Understanding in Buddhist tradition China Fazang and Huayan According to Thomas McEvely, although Vasubandhu had postulated numerous alaya vijnana s, a separate one for each individual person in the Parakalpita, this multiplicity was later eliminated in the F. A. Sang and Huayan metaphysics. These schools inculcated instead the doctrine of a single universal and eternal alaya vijnana. This exalted endstatement of the alaya vijnana is described in the F. A. Sang as primordial unity. Thomas McEvely further argues that the presentation of the three natures by Vasubandhu is consistent with the Neo-Platonist views of Plotinus and his universal one, mind, and soul. <laughs> Chan A core teaching of Chan, Zen Buddhism describes the transformation of the eight consciousnesses into the four wisdoms. In this teaching, Buddhist practice is to turn the light of awareness around, from misconceptions regarding the nature of reality as being external, to Kensho, directly see one's own nature. Thus the eighth consciousness is transformed into the great perfect mirror wisdom, the seventh consciousness into the equality universal nature wisdom, the sixth consciousness into the profound observing wisdom, and first to fifth consciousnesses into the all-performing perfection of action wisdom. Topic. Korea The interpenetration tong da and essence function tiyang of wonhyo yuan shao is described in the treatise on awakening Mahayana faith, Da Sheung Chi Shin Lun Mahayanasradha Padasastra, AMF in the excerpt below. The author of the AMF was deeply concerned with the question of the respective origins of ignorance and enlightenment. If enlightenment is originally existent, how do we become submerged in ignorance? If ignorance is originally existent, how is it possible to overcome it? And finally, at the most basic level of mind, the alaya consciousness, kang shi is there originally purity or taint? The AMF dealt with these questions in a systematic and thorough fashion, working through the Yogacara concept of the alaya consciousness. The technical term used in the AMF which functions as a metaphorical synonym for interpenetration is permeation or perfumation referring to the fact that defilement fan perfumates suchness gen ru and suchness perfumates defilement depending on the current condition of the mind topic see also brahmavihara doctrine of consciousness only mindstream 30 verses on consciousness only three kinds of objects Anatta in the Tathagatagarbha Sutras Topic Notes equals equals definitions